Salam Alaikum, and may peace be upon all of you. My name is Aram Shakir, and I'm the chair of the East Brunswick Human Relation Council. I'd like to welcome you all to our second annual Ramadan lighting event to commemorate this holy month. I'm truly honored to be here, and my heart is so full of gratitude. Gratitude to my town of East Brunswick, where we are all here celebrating a holiday that is not just near and dear to my heart, but all of yours. So thank you for coming. Speaking of which, I'd like to acknowledge following individuals, some whom you'll be hearing from. Mr. Matt, uh, Mayor Brad Cohen, Councilman Kevin McAvoy, Councilwoman Sharon Sullivan, Councilman uh, Dinesh Behal, Councilwoman Dana Zimbiki, East Brunswick Economic Development Officer Robert Zuckerman, Religious Director of New Brunswick Islamic Center Sami Kadavik, and the representative of the Islamic Center of East Brunswick, Muhammad Humayu. <laughs> Ramadan is celebrated by 1.8 billion Muslims around the world, 3.4 million here in America, and thousands here in East Brunswick and surrounding areas. Standing here today is proof that Muslim holidays are being normalized. And that is made possible today because of all of you and our amazing local leaders. So please give them a round of applause. If there is in any town in America that is committed to not just respecting diversity, but also celebrating it, it's right here in our town of East Brunswick. Our town is a true example of what America represents, so a huge thank you to our Mayor Brad Cohen. Assistant Director of Recreation, John Roach, who has helped immensely. Dave Ambrosi from EBTV. East Brunswick Police Department, East Brunswick Human Relation Council members, Vice Chair Paula Quinton, Nusrat Sohail, and freshman rep Rayan Shakir. I'd like now to call upon Mayor Brad Cohen. Thank you, Aram. Salam Alechem. As most of you know, Ramadan marks the occasion in which the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. The month-long holiday requires all eligible members to fast during daylight hours. And the fasting, or self-sacrifice, allows Muslims to engage in charity, self-reflection, and prayer. The difficulty of fasting exemplifies the suffering around the world and allows us to act in a way where we are compassionate, we are charitable, we are empathetic, and we have humility. This year, we could not have had a more obvious example of human suffering as witnessing what's going on on the other side of the world right now in Ukraine. The township of East Brunswick recently, uh, or is in the process of establishing a sister city in Ukraine as we speak, for the purpose of helping use East Brunswick as a center to obtain and to uh, accept charitable donations to the country where it's needed the most. Uh, they have about three or four sister cities in Poland so that the anything that's donated from this community and the surrounding communities would be sent to Poland and then from there to Rivna, uh, Ukraine, which is the sister city we intend to work with, and from there get distributed to the people that need it the most. This would be an occasion for us to try to come together as a community to do something for people who are suffering, and I think it brings the whole idea and the purpose uh, of Ramadan uh, to, uh, to a head. So I wish each and every one of you a happy, healthy, and meaningful fast during this most holy of months. And remember the words of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he said, the charity you, are, you give will be your shade on the day of judgment. Thank you. That was excellent, Mayor Brad. Um, I'd like to now call upon the religious director, Sami Kadavik. begin with the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. 
And I greet you with the universal greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. It's truly an honor to be with you all here this uh, afternoon, evening, as we're waiting for the sun to come down and to break our fast, which we do as Muslims every day throughout the month of Ramadan. And yes, not even water during the daylight hours. We're told in the Quran that the fast is meant, is, is meant to draw us nearer to God. God tells us, O oh, you who believe fasting has been prescribed for you as it was prescribed by those before you. Indeed, fasting is a universal practice shared by every single faith community from the beginning of time. It takes place in one form or another in every religious tradition and Muslims are no different in that respect. That every faith tradition has some form of fasting as the Quran has mentioned and so we join in that tradition. And so thus fasting is a thing that we share as communities of faith together. One of the religious practices that we've shared together. And what's the fundamental purpose, as the Quran had mentioned, to draw us closer to an awareness of God Almighty in our lives. To have that in our everyday activity. And so for this one month of activities and the prayers and the fast itself is to keep us more aware of God in our lives and to give us an idea of a world or a year that could be. A year in which you are conscious of everything you do throughout the day and trying to do the best that you can do throughout the day. And we, and we experience this as a community for a month. So that when we exit that month, we were given a taste of what could be. What could be throughout the rest of the year. Not to throw off the Ramadan consciousness and then to move on to our other activities, but to actually improve as human beings. Because we're living a life in which God is the center. So we ask God Almighty to bless us in this month of Ramadan. We thank and we ask God to bless the Township of East Brunswick and for the work they are doing of allowing us to feel welcome in this community. We thank the mayor and we thank all of the councilmen and those who were involved in this and involved in this today. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem to all of you. Thank you, Sammy. Now I'd like to call upon um, the representative from Islamic Center of East Brunswick, Muhammad Kamal. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Uh, Ramadan Mubarak to everybody. And on behalf of Islamic Center of East Brunswick, and on behalf of the broader East Brunswick community and community around us, uh, whoever showed up here to celebrate, thank you very much. Um, as you can see here, East Brunswick uh, Town is a great uh, partner with us. Um, we have a mosque being built right on New Brunswick Avenue. And the township has been very generous with helping us navigate through the construction process, so we thank them. Um, I was talking to Dinesh, and Dinesh told me that he's fasting today based on his uh, religious uh, beliefs. So he's actually sharing the fast with us today. <laughs> so again, on behalf of the um, East Brunswick Township, and I would like to thank Mayor and the council members here, the Human Relations Council, and the entire East Brunswick uh, town and community. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kamran. And now we're going to do the lighting ceremony. I know it's a little nippy. So, John? Ta-da! Thank you, everyone, for coming. Please take lots of pictures. And we'll see you soon next year.